Now don't subscribe to my channel because I'm doing a such a bad job by teaching you all new skills, right? What if I told you that you can sharpen your images in just two simple steps? You can do this on your PC and your mobile. Now, opening up your application is not to be considered as a step, all right? We see so many amazing images on Instagram and wonder how did they get so sharp on the screen. In this video, I'm going to reveal a small secret to make your image really look good and sharp because Instagram compresses your image when you upload it on their platform. Now, one thing you got to remember is that you have to do this step once you're completely done with your full edit and you're about to upload it on Instagram. That means it is full and final before you go ahead and do these steps. Now, let's begin with the editing process. I'm going to use Photoshop for the first set of the editing and then we'll move on to the mobile part of it. So here we are in Photoshop. I have this person, he's smoking a BD, the Indian variant of a cigarette. And this is a single layer. We press Command J or Control J on Windows. We have created a duplicate layer. We simply go to Filter, go down to Other and select High Pass. We'll notice that it is kind of embossed feeling. It has selected and detected some edges on the image. We have the radius. Do not exceed more than three because it is going to make it look unnaturally sharpened and we exactly don't want that. I would recommend uh, not going beyond 2.2, 2.3 for this image, but always keep it under three pixels. You say, okay. And it has been applied to the top layer. Simply going down to the layers in the blend mode, scroll down and look for linear light. That's it. Look at the image, it is tack sharp. Now, if I deselect the top layer, you can see the difference. Let me zoom in it for you here. This is after applying the high pass. This is before you can see a huge, huge difference. And as I said, just in two steps, we have attained this result. We created a duplicate layer and we went to filter and applied a filter that was two step and we're exporting, which is not actually a part of edit. So that is not a step. Now, how are you going to export or save this? Not by the regular mode, the regular way you do it. Yes, we go to file, you go to export and save for web. It is opening up the panel for you to save. Select JPEG. And you have the quality maximum because we need the best quality output. The image, the image size would be approximately 25 to 30 MB, but that's fine. Once you post it on Instagram, you can delete it from your phone to save on space or you can leave it if you have a lot of space. Now I will say save. And there we go. It has saved our image before and after. Now let me quickly show you, not the entire process, but if you're a wildlife photographer, how your images look. A very quick one. Now if you look at the bird's feather and the rock, look at the major and a significant difference. This is before and this is after. Look at the texture, the sharpness in the image. Before and after. That's it. So now we are going to move on to the mobile version of how you can do it in case you don't have a PC or access to Photoshop. Let's do it now. Now let's do the same thing using PixArt on a mobile phone. Let's open it up. So here we have PixArt. I'll simply open the master image. Now, what we did in Photoshop is that we use the high pass filter, the similar thing we got to do in PixArt. So simply by going down to FX, Scroll down below where you have these blur, sketch, etc. Select artistics and then on the top panel, scroll on your left and right in the end you'll find emboss. You can now see it is a very similar effect that we got in Photoshop using high pass. The name over here is emboss and it differs from software to software. We go to click on the settings panel over here in the emboss and select the fade. Like how we selected the pixel in Photoshop, here it is called at fades. Around three is fine. You say apply and now we are going to save this image because we need to apply it as a top layer on the master image. By clicking on the download button on the top, you simply save it. It has now saved the image on our phone. We'll go back, say don't save because we did a process to follow now. We'll import the master layer. We scroll down on the panel below and say add photo. 
once you do that we are going to import the emboss layer so that it becomes a layer on top like we did in photoshop we add here it is now very carefully you got to align this by dragging it on the arrows below and ensure that it is well aligned with the master image otherwise what will happen is there will be a ghosting now that's fine now one very very important thing before you say apply go down to the blend mode here and here we do not have linear light so we are going to select overlay and say apply that's it let me zoom in now if i tap on my phone screen look at the difference before after before after you can see on the texture of his beard and the face skin this is the before and this is the after here we go again in two simple steps we got this result now simply download it save it to your gallery and that's it we are done now most of you will ask me why are we not using the sharpen tool on our phone to do this now if you notice when we did both these exercises or uh, the edit on photoshop and pixart we saw the emboss and the high path detected only the edges on the skin and on the texture that mean only that area is going to be affected if you want to learn about instagram reel hacks i have a video for that and if you want to continue learning editing with something different i have a video for that as well